Hey everybody! Wow, Facebook is back! It's crazy! What was that all about? Jeepers! Well, I thought I'd continue on. So last night we were super busy with our amazing um, launch that I did with a free membership, free spot in my program. Let me know if that wind is too much. So I wanted to continue on. So today we're going to talk about guardians. But first I'm going to fix my hair because Shana's all about her hair and she's just had it up all day. So guardians are our amazing health type. These guys resemble a bear. How's everyone enjoying the ones I've done so far? Have you related to the Crusader? Or maybe it's been the diplomat you've related to? I'd love to hear if you're relating to one of these. Go back, I've head, done them all the same heading so that you can understand each of the different health types. So today we're discussing guardians. Now guardians are kind of like a big bear. Who do you know around you who's like a big bear? These beautiful souls are the hard workers they're the kind of people that give from an empty cup. They just give and give and give. They care about the community. They care about their tribe. They care about their family. They are just all in when it comes to the fam bam. So let's talk about all the other areas that these health types called the guardians show up in. Now they're normally a very heavy boned, quite often hold a little bit of extra weight. Now I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, that's me right now, but the guardians are the ones that have nice big bone structure, they've got really solid legs, they've got big calf muscles, I mean god they're carrying a massive beautiful strong body. They also have a little bit maybe extra fat or weight, well let's, let's be brutal, fat around the abdomen area because they just hold for the famine. They hold everything just in case someone else needs something. Do you know someone who's like that? They're also the health type that actually ends up uh, having bigger shoulders because they carry a lot for a lot of people then you have them in the workplace so in the work environment these guys are quite often in the most female roles and i'm not being sexist here um, so the most female roles they'll be the nurturer they care about everybody else before themselves our guardians are very capable of being ceos in fact it's very common for them to be a ceo and often have weight issues because they are holding the weight of their entire business and company. They take everything to heart. Some of them will have a hard outer shell, but it's only a protection mechanism for the fact they've got a big soft heart on the inside and they just care so much. The biggest thing I see with a lot of my guardians is that they have extra, extra weight when they're in the CEO role because, well, when you're in a CEO role, people don't necessarily like you as much. I hope that wind isn't getting too much guys. Let me know if it is. Um, they don't necessarily like the CEO as much. So they hold weight because really what they want is a whole lot of connection. But the role that they own, the fact that they are caring so much for other people, means that they're actually holding excess weight because they just want a big hug. But you can't really go up and hug your CEO now, can you? So in the work environment, these guys just give 150% for everyone and they just keep on doing all the things. They think about all the, the caring things. They don't want anyone stressing too much. They just care so much about their community. In relationships, our guardians are the kind of nurturer lover. They're the feeder. They're the one that just wants everyone to be happy. Uh, a lot of our Greek and Italian mamas are um, guardians, the perfect guardians. They just want their peeps to be full and to be nourished. And you can't be skinny because if you're skinny, then you're undernourished and they haven't done their job right and then they feel like they failed you. They're also incredible at their work ethic. So their work ethic means that they... They'll go above me on because they always want to meet your expectations. They don't ever want to fail. So if you give someone too big of a task as a guardian, sometimes they may not actually do any of it because they feel like there's no point because it's going to be a failure to start off with. It's a true fact. Then we have in the relationships, these guys are the, the carers, the nurturers. They prefer to sit on the um, they prefer to sit on the couch with the kids. And they quite often end up, I've seen so many matches with, um, uh, with crusader husbands because um, the crusader husband wants the loving nurturing of his wife, of his beautiful guardian wife, and she wants the strong, stern, assertive male. But what happens is they end up realizing that they, what they fell in love with each other in the first place, they kind of forget. So that's a big one that I talk about with my clients around that side of things. Then when it comes to fun, the Guardian's ultimate fun is a family day out, a family vacation, um, a family 
a family affair of any kind or a tribe affair of any kind, these guys love bringing the food. They will not only bring some food, they will bring all of the food. And that's what we love about them is they are always there to care for you. When it comes to <laughs> a movie character, ooh, this was fun. So a movie character who represents a guardian best would be Chris Rock is very close. He's actually what we would call a cuspy. He's a cuspy between a diplomat and a guardian. But you can see his extraordinary strength. Then you would look at Kung Fu Panda. Who here loved Kung Fu Panda? Kung Fu Panda was a beautiful, beautiful um, guardian. He just cared so much and he loved his food and he felt safest when he had a full belly. Big one right there. <laughs> in school, the guardians were normally, well, back in school days, they were probably the chubbier kid. Maybe got picked on a fair bit. Maybe didn't quite get understood so much because they just cared so much about people's thoughts and feelings. Um, and the chubbier kids, maybe some of them were rugby players because they just have such bone strength, such dominance. In fact, there you go. A lot of the rugby players and league players, a lot of them are guardians. Money stories are huge for our guardians. These guys need security. They need structure. Like I said, they hold for the famine. So these guys will definitely have money put away. They will definitely have um, fears of not having enough. They will definitely, uh, they often give to their family first uh, before looking after themselves. But a lot of our guardians will actually, in fact, have these stories where they just need um, they need to, the security to know that where it's going. They will also be rather cynical. Love you, guardians. But a lot of you are very cynical. And, and this is because you want the safety and security. You want to make sure that what you're investing your time, your energy, your money in with is going to be of value and that you're not wasting your time or being taken advantage of. So we love you. You are so beautiful and you are so caring about others but your cynical side needs to be kept in check because sometimes we miss out on great opportunities by worrying too much and not taking action. When it comes to food, we are all about the food guardians, aren't we? We are all about nourishment. We are all about nourishment of everybody else. Sometimes a guardian will not actually eat that much themselves because they're so busy caring for everybody else that they forget to look after themselves. Why would they still hold excess weight if they are doing this? Because when they forget to feed themselves, their body goes into this stress state and it goes, right, well, if you're not going to feed me, I'm going to hold everything, everything you put inside of me and I will hold it and hold it and hold it just in case you do that silly thing again where you stop feeding me. So those who are doing yo-yo dieting where they're trying to, and these guys are really common for trying to do diets to, look, to lose the weight. Your environment and your lifestyle and your social is so important to your success of a healthier body weight ratio. And this is what I love for the guardians when they get to understand that. Then when we come into language, guardians are all about the feels. The feels, the feels, the cuddles, the feels, the feels, the feeling full, the feeling nourished, the feeling loved, the feeling connected, the feeling of everything is what guardians most love. And it's, it's just such a beautiful person to have around you. We love our guardians because they ensure that everyone's looked after and they ensure that everybody has a place, everyone belongs, everyone is loved and nurtured. So... I hope that it's helped you guys a little bit more understanding the guardians. There is so much more. Each of these videos is only scraping the surface of your amazingness. So I look forward to those who are jumping into the program, um, discovering yourself so much more. If this has resonated with you or you know someone that's like this, pop it in the comments. Let's get this interactive. Share this kind of knowledge with more people so more people have acceptance and love and nourishment in all the aspects of how great you are. Mwah.